Hey, it's Dor with Tactical Hive. Thanks for being here. Today's video, I wanna cover switching shoulders with primary and directly how your sling setup is going to affect that process. Hey guys, to start things off today, I'm gonna to go ahead and demonstrate how I switch shoulders. There's different methodologies. You know, you're gonna to have to figure out exactly what works for you, but this is what works for me. So starting off, I'll be on my primary side, addressing targets, on fire, finger on, taking shots. And when I decide for whatever reason, I need to switch shoulders, I'm finger out, attempt to safe, as I bring the butt end of the weapon up and over to my new shoulder. At this point, I'm gonna switch my hands are gonna meet at the front and I'm gonna slide my support side hand back to the pistol grip, on fire, finger on, ready to go. Just like so. And then when as needed, I will put the weapon on safe, bump back over, meet in the front, back to the pistol grip, on fire, finger on. This is how I do it. Now, I started off the video with a one point sling. Why? Because with a one point sling, being able to do things like switch shoulders and other tasks you'll find in a CQB environment are a lot easier, which is why this method of a sling was so popular in the 2000s as GWAT was rolling out. So now with the use of this barricade for the demonstration, we'll go ahead and just get some live reps in just so you can see what it looks like. So again, I'm on my, this is the leading edge of my barricade. My targets are out at about 12 o'clock. I am not gonna overexpose myself for any reason. Being on my strong side, I'm at an advantage. This is where I wanna be, and this is where I wanna fight. As I have to transition over, that's where the switching shoulders comes into play. So, this is the leading edge of my barricade. I am not gonna allow my foot to break this plane. I'm gonna pretend there is a literally a plane of glass right here that is going to prevent me from exposing myself from the waist down. From the waist up, I'm gonna to have to hang it out there a little bit. Why? So that I can take shots. So I'm on strong side. I'm gonna go ahead and plant my foot, anchor in my lower body behind cover. I'm gonna go ahead, get on my sights. I'm on fire, finger on, ready to address threats. And I'm gonna come out, back in. Out, back in. Now, I wanna switch shoulders so it's up and over. Right back over. Now I'm gonna have to creep out. Right back over, just like so. And that's the drill, just back and forth. If you wanna get a little crazier with it, we can go ahead and take a knee, where you'll come out. Take a shot, back it up, down, out. There we go, back up and switch shoulders. Come back out. All right guys, so that was the drill and that basically being able to switch back and forth, fighting the leading edge of a barricade, both strong and support side with a single point. So moving on, we'll go ahead and do the drill again, but this time I'm gonna come out of the single point and go to modified two point. I keep my two point ring just forward of the receiver behind all my gadgets and gizmos and doohickeys. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead, finger on on fire, address the leading edge. I'm not gonna allow my lower body to protrude past cover. I'm gonna go ahead and lean out, find a target, and I'm gonna come back in. Go ahead and switch your shoulders on safe over the top. Now, as you can see, my two point is covering up my safety. Not the end of the world, but I gotta know that it's there now. So I'm just gonna go ahead, jam my thumb up in there, pop it back out, on fire, reaching out, and then right back over. Go ahead and take a knee this time, suck it out, back up to my feet, and I'm good. All right guys, moving forward, we're gonna switch to a two point sling setup. This is uh, about as old as combat carbine exists. But what is old is now new again. I'm starting to see more and more in recent years that people are going back to a traditional two point sling setup, which is cool. So I wanted to definitely cover it. Not as common at my last job, 
but our army counterparts, they're all about it. And a, a trick I picked up from them, because obviously if I'm wearing this in a traditional setting, I'm gonna be good to go on my primary side, but when I go to switch, I'm gonna run into problems. So what they would do is if something popped off and they needed to switch shoulders, they would go ahead and just dump their arm out of the sling and just still have it around their neck like so. Now this isn't the most comfortable thing in the world, but it works. If you fell down, you'd keep it with you. Big takeaway though, is you gotta keep it loose. You don't want this thing too tight. You know, if you're running it in a traditional two point, I mean, there's not much you can do with this besides throw it on your shoulder and wait for guard duty to get over with. So make sure you have enough slack to be able to work with. All right, so we get some uh, live fire reps in. I'll go ahead and start from a uh, standard configuration, like patrol ready, basically. On my strong primary side, I'll go ahead, finger on, dress the leading edge, come out, back up, back out. Up just like so. Then, wanna switch shoulders, I'm gonna go ahead and come out of my sling, back around, be at the front, up and over, back on fire, find my dot. Bring it down. Over. Back up and over. Back over. On safe. Switch shoulders. And back over once more for good measure. All right, guys, that was a quick down and dirty as far as the drill, fighting leading edge of a barricade, switching back and forth from strong to support side, switching shoulders, manipulating the sling. Obviously sling plays a big part in this drill as it will in real life. During the drill, we ran one point, two point, and a two point modified. There's obviously pluses and minuses to each. Running that single point makes transitioning a lot easier, but there's some disadvantages, okay? It's uncomfortable when you take your hands off the weapon. And the two point, obviously, you know, you gotta do the underneath, which, you know, it's fine, but it leaves the gun somewhat unstable. If you were to get into a tussle with someone, they might be able to turn this thing around on you. That's not good. And then we had the two point modify, which is what I generally run. Doesn't matter how you run your gun, just make sure you guys get out there and train. That's the only way you're gonna be able to make sure that uh, it's the right setup for you.